Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel again. General Technology Knowledge. Today I would like to show and share about software Semantic Manager version 5.6 about how to add, config, test the digital input module of PLC S Band 300. And here is the push button that I already connected cable from uh, the NO and NC contact to the uh, terminal of digital input module. Yes. And here is the uh, module of uh, digital input. And here is the serial number. Yes. For uh, digital input module, I already uh, insert to the rack of the CPU with the uh, analog input and analog output that we already learned in the previous video. Okay, so today we will uh, learn more about uh, digital input module. Yes. So before I go to make the configuration, I would like to explain a little bit about the drawing of this module. Yes. So let's go. So here is the drawing of a digital input module that I already draw. Yes. There are 20 terminals of this module from terminal number 1 to 20. And we must provide a 24 voltage plus or positive to terminal number 1. And for terminal number 20, we uh, must put 0 volt or 24 uh, volt minus. Okay. So here is the example of uh, push button that uh, I already uh, mentioned in the slide. Yes. And here is just example. Example uh, for push button number 1. I 0, 0.0 yes and push button number 2 I 0, 0.1 and it will earn from uh, I 0 sorry 1.7 because uh, totally we have uh, 16 bits for this module okay so it's just example to uh, easy for understand about this module. Actually, we can uh, test after we do the configuration. Yes. So let's go to our software to make the configuration of this module. But should be remember uh, of this module. Three, two, one. Sorry, I'm a mistake. 1BA02 okay so uh, let's go to our software so first uh, let's open semantic manager version 5.6 that uh, I already use the same as uh, previous video and I will use the existing project that we already learned about how to add the analog input and analog output module. Okay. So uh, let's go to uh, hardware for add one more. Yes. So let's click hardware configuration and then let's go to uh, Semantic 300. Yeah. And then go to SM 300 and go to uh, digital input right this tab yeah and uh, let find yes compare with the slide yes let find yes three two one one b h zero two okay three two one yes so uh, go to three two one and 1BH, right? BH02. Yes, this one. Let's see here. 
it is the module number yes so let drop and drop this uh, module to the rack yes and then let's check the address yes it will start from i 8.0 until 9.7 because totally is 16 bits okay so uh, let go to sale and then download to the POC yeah, to the CPU about uh, this new module yes so uh, let's wait a moment for connecting the cable yes it will uh, detect automatically between uh, our PC and CPU so make sure it should be uh, can ping so let's go to command from and then ping uh, CMD and then go to ping 192.168.0.1 dot zero dot one okay let uh, see here is reply from the PLC so we can uh, ping it means that we can communication between our PC and then uh, with the PLC okay so let click uh, view to view the PLC because right now it found one uh, CPU yes so here is the IP address that I already show here. So let's click OK. And if I press OK, it will uh, stop the CPU. Yes, let me show. So if I press OK, yeah. Let's see the status. It will stop the CPU and download program to the PLC and then run again. It will restart. Yes, the CPU. Okay. For test the digital input for this module, let's go to uh, test by go to the PLC and then go to the block yeah go to the PLC and then go to monitor modify variables and it will start from 8.0 until 9.7 right here yeah. 16 bit so we can write I 8.0 I 8.1 that I already uh, connected the cable from a uh, push buttons to this module and then uh, I will zoom a little bit zoom in yes for easy to uh, see yes zoom in so here uh, I can freeze online yes to check okay so if I push button okay let me show If I push button, yes, to this button, let's see, I 8.0 is turned on, and the PLC is uh, show true also. For this uh, button also, I 8.1, yes, it show also. Okay, so we can test, and uh, this wiring is correct, yes. So uh, we can uh, write sample program for test also. Yes. So uh, let's go to our block, and then go to OB one example start stop. Yes. Stop, start, coin, and uh, hold the signal right for coin. Yes. So example this one I eight point zero for stop. I 8.1 for start actually we can uh, modify the symbol yeah by edit this one yes and this one uh, will turn on one output yes 
that check the internal CPU output yeah it will start from Q136.0 right so example uh, Q136.0 is turned on when we push button start okay then it will hold the signal and we can sell the project and download program to the PRC and then we can uh, online for test okay I will zoom in yes okay so uh, let me show it uh, will turn on yeah this one will turn on after I uh, push the button okay so let me show Okay, now, now I will push button start, right? Okay, let's see here. This turn on also for output. And for the PLC state plot in our software also uh, show, yes. Okay, so when I push stop, it will stop when I start again. It will start again. Yes, stop, start, yes. And uh, we also uh, show the status in uh, here also, yes. Example, uh, Q136.0, right? So right now it's true, yes, let's see true. So when I pull button stop, it will fall, yeah, it will stop true again, yes. So this is just example or instruction about how to add the digital input module of PLC S Band 300. How to download or how to test, see the signal, yes. I hope uh, this video is useful for everyone. And if everyone have any question, please kindly drop comment under my video. I will reply soon. And I would like to request all of you to like, share, and subscribe my video also to get more notifications and more new videos that I will create step by step. So in this time, I would like to say thank you very much again and see you next videos. Bye-bye.